Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you Christmas decor ideas for your interior design style. This is actually a follow-up video from one I did last year, so if I don't mention your interior design style in this one, I'll link the other one at the end so you can check it out. <sighs> I can't quite believe that a whole year has come and gone again. Nonetheless, it truly is one of my most favourite times of the year, so I thought I'd talk about how you guys can decorate your homes perfectly to match your own personal style. So if you're interested, let's jump in. So the first design style I want to talk about is the most common by far, and it's a traditional Christmas style. And of course, your colour scheme is going to revolve around red, green and gold tones. Now, I know that some people might say that a traditional Christmas style is boring and outdated, but I honestly completely disagree. Growing up, I'm sure like most of you, we had a green, red and gold themed house around Christmas time and there's just something so nostalgic and magical about this colour scheme, which is why I absolutely love a traditional Christmas look. The tree can be real or fake, but either way, you're going to want to stick to a green tree as that will make the red and gold accents pop out. And if you're really traditional, feel free to wrap it up in popcorn, oranges or candy to make it even more classic and also the kids always appreciate that. For your mantle and stair banister, a garland with pine cones, berries and other elements from nature would be the perfect item to display, especially if it's a real one as the scent will welcome your guests as they walk into your home. In terms of other home decor pieces, stick with quintessential ones like stockings, small Christmas trees, nutcrackers, gold candle holders, a little Santa maybe and of course a textbook wreath for the door. Next up, let's talk about a cottage Christmas. Cottages host the most scenic Christmas times in my opinion because they just ooze coziness. For the colour palettes, I would say go for light tones like white, gold and silver as cottages tend to be very dark. So by picking light colours, you will automatically make your space seem more spacious than it is and also with glass and metallics like gold or silver, your Christmas lights will dazzle to make your interior a lot brighter. Because cottages tend to be on the cooler side, you're going to want to include lots of warming fabrics to the space. Woolen or hessian tree skirts will work perfectly to add some texture and a warm look to your home. Also, knitted stockings and blankets would instantly create a cosy cottage core vibe. Now, if you have a cottage, I'm just assuming that you have a fireplace as well, in which case, a gorgeous holly or mistletoe wreath would be beautiful to hang above the mantelpiece. With a cottage, I feel like you can mix and match lots of different items together, so that's definitely something to think about when decorating your home for Christmas. Tartan cushions evoke a country feel, and you can also mix Christmas kitchenware together to give an eclectic look that works really well. Additionally, look at charity shops and thrift stores for tall candlesticks and thrifted candle holders that will give you a historical cottage court feel. And lastly, some winter themed cottage artwork will subtly create the cottage Christmas aesthetic we're going for. The third Christmas design style is a mid-century modern Christmas. Mid-century modern has certainly been making a huge comeback the past 10 years, which is why I thought to include it. And whether you're going for an ultra vintage look or a modernised one, the mid-century modern style has lots of really intriguing items to put into your Christmas scheme. And the Christmas tree is a showstopper for sure. Either a traditional aluminium tree or a colourful one will work really well. Back in the day when artificial trees started to be produced, they were the most popular trees in the 50s and the 60s, so why not pay homage to such a funky Christmas trend? You can decorate it with kitschy retro ornaments or decorate with bold pops of colour for a more modern approach. And to top the tree off, go for a Sputnik design tree topper. For other decorations, you can try and place original pieces from the 50s or add modern colourful items instead. Either way, the mid-century modern Christmas is all about fun and lots of colour, so try and pick at least one striking colour to use throughout your home. The holidays are of course a time for hosting and having parties. Well, they used to be anyway. 
But what better way to host a Christmas party than including a mid-century bar cart into the interior? Of course, stock with your favourite beverages, sparkling glasses and Christmas decorations for the best effect and it makes those Christmas parties <laughs> even more practical. Etsy is also great for finding unique mid-century pieces I found, so definitely have a look on there for some inspiration. Also check out Lacey Faye's YouTube channel because she has lots of really cool retro Christmas items in her mid-century home. And of course, everything I mentioned is in the description box. Every year, I think you can agree that we've become more and more eco-conscious and concerned about our carbon footprints. And with that, as a society, our need and want for more sustainable products is of course increasing. Which is why my next style is a natural sustainable Christmas. The worst thing to do is to get decorations every year, but change them every year too, which for some reason so many celebrities do nowadays. So by reusing decorations year on year and family baubles, you're already helping a bit. The most eco-friendly option, of course, is to pick an artificial tree that you will use year after year. So make sure to pick one that you think you'll have for a long time that you won't get bored of. For a natural feel, I really love the idea of creating your own garlands. Not only will it add a beautiful spicy aroma throughout your space, but you can also keep it for the next year. Also think about making your own ornaments from old items in your house like recyclables. Or instead with this style, upcycling or finding items at a thrift store are great options too. However, typically thrifted items tend to be a bit more on the traditional side of things, so instead what you can do is shop with ethical brands for a modern theme instead. Ones that put ethics first and are conscious about the products they sell. Now, I really doubt it, but if you are still using these bulbs from the 90s, a simple thing you can do is just buy a pack of LED Christmas lights as they use 80% less energy. Almost all of the lights you see nowadays are light emitting diodes, but you never know, you might still have some older ones tangled up in that Christmas light ball in your garage. If UK households alone swapped out their incandescent lights, we'd save 11 million pounds plus and 29,000 tonnes of CO2 over the 12 days of Christmas alone. So just double check what lights you're using to decorate your home. Now it's not really home decor but it does sit under the tree and I think it's kind of unavoidable. Wrapping paper. <laughs> I hate to admit it because I love the look of it. Each year, Americans alone use 4.6 million pounds of wrapping paper, which is roughly $7 billion, and half of that number ends up in landfill. It is just paper at the end of the day, so I would suggest to use recycled wrapping paper or instead use gift bags that the receiver can reuse in the future. Also, I feel like I should say, try and steer away from foil or glitter wrapping paper because those ones can't actually be recycled, so just be conscious of that. There are so many innovating ways to create an eco-conscious Christmas that also look beautiful at the same time. And if you need more advice, I have a whole playlist with Christmas videos, so I'll leave it linked down below for you. And if you're new to our channel, then I just want to say welcome. On the channel, we talk about home decor, interior design, and so much more cool creative stuff. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. I would love if you left me some kind of Christmas emoji down below to let me know that you enjoyed the video or learned something new. And if you liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that, you actually really help our channel to reach even more people. Okay guys, I hope that these Christmas design style tips helped you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you have a magical holiday season filled with family, fun and lots of mince pies. <laughs> Bye.